Hi guys! So today I'm going to film my July favorites for you and I know I'm a little bit late on it but as some of you might know I was actually having computer problems for a couple days and as it turns out my hard drive crashed somehow so I had to bring it into the repair shop but I've been lucky enough to have my mom offer to let me use her computer so that I can get a couple videos up in the meantime. Um, and it's like a miserable day out here. It's like windy and overcast, but I have my favorite cardigan on and I've got a huge mug of tea here, so I'm all ready to film. And I don't have like a ton of stuff, but this video was requested by a couple people, so I figured I would do it anyways. And I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want this video to be like ridiculously long as usual. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a hair product and it's the Got To Be Smooth Operator Luster Lotion. And why I've been loving this is because my hair is quite brittle and dry on the ends. I think it's from straightening it, I don't even know. But I find that after like day two of not washing my hair, my ends start to get really dry and my roots start to get pretty oily. So what I like to do with this is I just put it in on the ends and it's almost like a leave-in conditioner. But the reason I love it so much is because it smells so good. It smells like Skittles or candy of some sort. And I'm a big sucker for good smells like that, so I think that's part of the reason why this one is so special to me. But I've been using it a lot recently, and I've been really liking it. And I also like how it doesn't make my hair feel gummy, and I don't feel like a residue in it after I use it. So that has been a definite favorite of mine this month. So the next thing I have here is actually a moisturizer, and it is the Bioderma Hydro Bio Serum. And it's really odd that I've been liking this because usually I just stick to my vitamin C moisturizer and I like won't try anything else. But I bought this last winter when I was in Edmonton because I have pretty dry skin and I just kind of wanted something to use that would give my moisturizer a little bit of like that extra kick. Um, and I brought this out again recently because one day I kind of noticed that my vitamin C moisturizer can be a little bit too heavy on those like really, really hot days. So I kind of just wanted like a really light little layer of moisture to put on under my makeup. So I decided to try this again and I'm so glad that I did because it works so well under makeup. It's just so light and I can't feel it on my face, which I love. But I also find that like when I put powders and stuff over it, I don't look powdery. So I've been really loving this recently and I'll probably continue to use it for like the rest of the summer. The next thing I have here is my Garnier Rollerball. I have the tinted one. I think I'm in the lightest shade. I think it's just called light. I've just been loving this as a concealer for under my eyes because it just brightens them up so much and it's so buildable. I usually do like two to three layers of it and I just look so like flawless under my eyes afterwards, which I love because in the morning I can have pretty dark circles, believe it or not. So this has definitely been a savior of mine and I'm definitely going to continue to use it. I don't know how much I have left, but I think it will be a most definite repurchase for me. <laughs> The next thing I have here is a mascara, which once again is odd for me because usually I just stick to my Lash Blast Fusion by CoverGirl and I won't try anything else. But mine actually dried out so I kind of needed something to replace it until I could get the chance to go buy a new one. And I had this sitting in my makeup drawer so I just decided to pull it out and try it and I actually really liked it. So it's the CoverGirl Lash Blast 24 Hour Mascara, which I know isn't like a huge difference from the Lash Blast Fusion, but it's such a wet formula that I find that it makes my lashes so big and black and it's really good for separating them too. I don't find that they clump really bad. The only thing that I wasn't really a big fan of is that it is a little bit harder to get off at the end of the night, but I just use my Kors um, makeup remover wipes or my... Nivea makeup remover and I find that that does the trick so I have been really liking that recently it's like perfect for summertime the next thing that I have here is actually something that I have on right now and it is the Maybelline lipstick in the color 015 born with it and I've had this for quite a while you'll see it here in a second I've like used it to death um but I absolutely love it for just like a nude look. I just find that it works perfectly for every day and I'm probably going to have to get a new one. I've never used a lipstick this much before so it's kind of crazy to me to have to like repurchase a lipstick shade. But I've just been obsessed with it recently and it's a definite must have of mine. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm also wearing today... And this is kind of a new product for me. I've never tried it up until this point. But it's always been raved about on YouTube, so I kind of decided to just give it a shot finally. And it is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I'm in the color Sand or Medium. And I love the finish of this. I find it makes me look so airbrushed. 
But when I get up close in like a magnified mirror and stuff, I don't look like cakey around my T-zone like I do with other powders. So if you guys haven't tried this, I would recommend that you do because I think it's raved about on here for a reason. Like I really love it and I'm so happy with it. I'm just like obsessed with it and it might just be my new favorite powder, so... And then this one is kind of just the generalization, so it's purple eyeliner. I really like to use it on my bottom lashes, not in my waterline, but like on the lashes, um, because it's not as harsh as black, but I find that the purple just kind of makes my green eyes pop a little bit more. It's not like a crazy difference, but it's a subtle difference. Um, so the one that I've been using is by Smashbox, and it's just like a plummy purple color. I also have one by Bourjois, it's once again just like a plummy purple color. But I've just been really liking this recently because it's kind of a more natural look than like a black. And then the next thing I have is kind of random, but it is the Nicole by OPI Drying Drops. And these are amazing. I can't even paint my nails without using them anymore because they're like a holy grail product. Like they're just a miracle in a little bottle. Like I don't know what they are, but... They dry your nail polish so fast, like you just put a drop on each nail and it's almost like an oily residue but your nails are like dry in two minutes, it's crazy. And I'm one of those people who when I paint my nails for some reason I find the need to like go off and do a bunch of stuff like shower or like do laundry or something. So I always end up messing up my nails and I just take it off and I just kind of forget about it. But this has helped me so much um, with keeping my nail polish on. So like I have my nails painted right now and this is probably the longest that I've had like a nail polish last me in a long time. So I have to use these every single time I paint my nails now and I just absolutely love them. I would definitely recommend that you guys go out and try them or just try any drying drops that you can find because they really do work. And then the last thing I have here is actually a perfume. It's the Beyonce Heat Rush perfume and then I also have it in a body spray form. So I kind of wear these two together just so that it'll last extra long. But but this smells so good. It's so sweet and it just smells like candy. That's all I can use to describe the scent. And I get so many compliments on it every single time I wear it. So I have literally been wearing this every single day and I've just been ignoring all my other perfumes because of it. But I can't seem to choose anything else because I always just think of this one. Like it smells so good. And as you guys can see I've used a ton of this and hopefully I don't have to repurchase it anytime soon because I actually don't like repurchasing perfumes unless I have my optimum points to spend. So so yeah, but this has definitely been a absolute must-have perfume for me for the past little while. And it probably will continue to be until I run out of it, unfortunately, but yeah, I've been loving it. Okay, and that is it for my July favorites. So I hope you guys still like this video, even though I didn't have like a ton of stuff. But don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos from me. And also like this video if you did like it. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I like it down below in every single one of my videos. And I just recently took it off private, so if you guys want to follow me I would absolutely love it if you did so thank you so much for watching you guys and I will talk to you all next time so I've been using this um, hydrobio serum and I pulled it out and tried it of course I would drop it I don't find that makes me like cakey or dry yeah cakey or dry I'm like stumbling I guess I should mention that, like, not 20 minutes later. Nice. <laughs>